Wendy and the beach. The lunch hours they'd sat at the chained down picnic tables, necking and planning a future that never happens. Mary had tugged at his arm, and he leaned down. I love this song. I didn't know they played this song. They don't, he shouted. It's probably because it's Valentine's Day. He wasn't sure she heard him, because she didn't respond, just swayed by his side as Anne overpowered Roger Daltrey's original. At the end, both Wilson sisters came forward, arms over each other's shoulders. Thank you, Nancy said, and good night, Anne said. They bowed and threw a dating game kiss. We love you. The stage went black. The, synth the synthesizer riff and the crashing waves still circling, softer and softer, till they were lost in applause. All around him, people held up their phones, a ghostly phenomenon he'd only seen on commercials and disliked on principle. The few surviving smokers raised real lighters, blatantly violating the law. He wished he had one. They clapped in rhythm. We want heart! We want heart! As expected, the band returned for an encore, taking their places again. Cynically, he thought it was all choreographed, as slick and shallow as Vegas. Why did it bother him? Everyone sold out to survive. It was the price of getting old. He tried his best, just no one was interested. They surprised him with another cover. Led Zeppelin's rock and roll, which he danced to, feeling faintly embarrassed, while Marion flung her hair around. Been a long time since a rock and roll. It was true. He had no moves and was already pondering which of the two roulette tables they should play. He bopped along, nodding in time, then finally gave up during Magic Man, standing quietly beside her, constrained and impatient, as if waiting to be released. 